Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about the 2019 college admissions bribery scandal. Last time we talked about this story, it was about one YouTuber specifically, Olivia Jade. And well, she found herself right smack dab in the middle of this situation as her parents were one of the main parties accused of these crimes. And to make matters worse, looking into Jade's past showed she never really wanted to go to college to begin with. She was just going because her parents told her to. And Jade wanted to party and go to sporting events. So, needless to say, studying and academics were not on her to-do list, which is pretty troubling since her parents bribed her way into USC, or the University of Southern California, a pretty prestigious and rigorously academic institution. And now, let's first take a minute to check out our newest sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Forget everything you think you know about mobile games because one of the most ambitious RPGs ever has been released in 2019, introducing Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, let's look at the intro for Raid real quick and see what's up. Alright, awesome. Whoa, those are pretty cool graphics, especially for a mobile app. And what's the best part about this game, you might ask? Well, it's totally free, so why not give it a shot today? Playing Raid is the most immersive experience you'll find on a smartphone, and it really can only be compared to the biggest PC and console games out there. Raid has all the features you've come to expect from a new RPG game too, like an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize too. Wow. Pretty cool. Raid is getting real big real fast too, so now's a good time to get in early and try this out. Starting now will give you a huge boost and an advantage in the game's world. There's also an upcoming special launch tournament with great prizes in it as well. So please don't forget to check out Raid Shadow Legends today and use the links below this video and you'll get over 50,000 silver coins in-game currency right out the gate. And also if you use this link, you'll get an epic champion for free as part of the new player program. Thanks guys and I hope you enjoy this new offer. Great, now that that's out of the way, let's get back to talking about Olivia Jade. A lot has changed since the original story though. If you still need to catch up more, there's a link to my original video below, but for now, we need to move on to all the new developments. For starters, Olivia Jade's life has been completely changed from the ground up. Not only has she opted to not go back to USC after all this, but also, Jade's work has been affected greatly too. Not only is she losing her sponsors like crazy, but also, Olivia's YouTube channel has gone completely radio silent since the scandal broke. That's right, her baby, her bread and butter, and the only thing she claimed to care about before, and now, Olivia Jade's YouTube channel with almost almost 2 million subscribers, it could be on its way out soon. She's still getting views and subs, sure, but she also hasn't posted there in about a month since this happened. And her last video, as you can see here, well, it's being downvoted into oblivion because of the backlash, as it should. And also, Jade finally privated a bunch of those other videos we went over before, the ones I said she should have removed. You might remember we talked about a few of them in the last video, where we found clips of her videos talking about how she doesn't care about class and just wants to party. So yeah, all of those bad looks are now gone. So at least Jade is doing something, I guess. And it's really hard to feel sorry for someone like this too. Even if we assume Olivia knew nothing about the scandal and the bribing, which is highly unlikely, but even then, she still has a lot to be embarrassed about here. Let's get more info on the story from an article from Vulture called, Lori Laughlin's daughter is reportedly getting the hell away from USC. Check this out. Grab all those bronze pallets you left in your dorm room and run, girl. Olivia Jade, the popular vlogger and influencer daughter of alleged college bribers Lori Laughlin and Mosimo Gianulli will apparently not go back to the University of Southern California when the school resumes after spring break on Monday. According to People, sources connected to the freshmen say she has no plans to return to USC following the shocking college admissions bribery scandal that has indicted both of her parents. She can't handle anything right now, the source adds. She seems more and more upset every day. She just wants to stay home. I really can't blame her for this either. I wouldn't be caught dead back at a school in this kind of situation. It's too embarrassing and too awkward to be around all the actors actually legitimate students after you got caught sneaking your way in. And while I will give Olivia Jade some sympathy here too, but again, like I said before, it's really hard to pity spoiled Hollywood brats like this as well. This development comes after Jade, whose birth name is Olivia Jade Gianulli, lost a handful of sponsored content and collaboration deals with various companies, which includes Sephora, Trace May, and Estee Lauder companies. She feels she has worked very hard to get different work deals and everything is just gone. She thought she knew what the future had in store for her and it all just crumbled 
crumbled, people's source added. Well, that's what happens when you build your whole world around a house of cards. It eventually falls apart under the pressure. And you can't blame these companies for pulling out of these deals either. Everyone and their mother is running away scared from these college admissions scandal people, as they should. Associations with cheaters like this and possible criminals is really never a good look for your public relations. For another example, Olivia's mom, Lori Laughlin, she has already been fired from many of her gigs as well. She's an actress and she's losing jobs like crazy. Not only did the Hallmark Channel fire Lori Laughlin from the sweet deal she had with them, but also the show Fuller House cut ties with Lori as well. And that's pretty huge. You may not remember this, but Lori Laughlin actually played the original Aunt Becky on the original Full House show from the 90s. A very classic show and a cultural staple in sitcoms and comedy. And also, Lori Laughlin previously reprised her role in the Fuller House sequel series, but not anymore. And believe it or not, things are actually getting worse for Lori and her family besides this stuff. Just today, while I was writing this video, it was announced that Laughlin and her husband could be facing a minimum of two years in prison over this scandal. Wow, that's not going to be fun. Here's a quick summary of that development coming from the Daily Caller. They say, Full House actress Lori Laughlin and her husband, Mosimo Giannulli, could take a plea deal with a two-year minimum prison sentence attached. Laughlin and Giannulli are among several parents who have been offered plea deals in the nationwide college admissions scandal, according to a TMZ report published Tuesday. Everyone has been offered a plea deal in the case, but prosecutors are only approving deals with prison time attached, sources say. Ouch. Sounds like the Justice Department is going to make examples out of these cheaters and bribers. And again, it's really hard to feel sympathy for them too, especially the parents. They knew what they were doing and they knew it was wrong and illegal. They were cheating the system and using their money and influence to pressure academic institutions into giving their kids special treatment. So with that said, I say screw all that talk about white privilege in America. The real privilege out there in this country is rich Hollywood elite liberal privilege, clearly. And it's not only Olivia Jade and her family who are in trouble here. A large number of other rich people and Hollywood types are involved in getting punished for this too. For example, another actress, Felicity Huffman, recently pled guilty and is accepting a deal for herself for apparently spending 15 grand to boost her daughter's SAT score. The SAT is a test you take before you go to college to rate your intelligence. And Huffman says she feels deep regret and shame for this too. But I think that remorse may be too little too late. And also, as this CBS article points out, Huffman taking a guilty plea is not a good sign for Lori Laughlin. This means the government has them dead to rights, and there's really no way for these crooks to get out of this punishment. That means they have really good evidence on them, and that's why everyone's taking plea deals. Fortunately for Felicity Huffman's side, she's on the lighter side of the crime spectrum with this situation. She just spent 15 large to boost an SAT score, while Lori Laughlin and her husband, on the other hand, they spent over half a million dollars bribing all kinds of people at all kinds of different levels of the college admission process. And that's why when her family, Lori and her husband, if they're found guilty, they're very likely going to jail, at least for some time. But back to Felicity Huffman's side of the story for now, because not only did she plead guilty here, but also her work is being affected by this situation as well. An article from Fox has more details on it. It's called Netflix Pushes Felicity Huffman Film Back Amid College Admissions Scandal. Check this out. Felicity Huffman announced Monday that she is pleading guilty to her role in the college admissions scandal. And hours later, Netflix announced that a movie starring the actress has been shelved indefinitely. That means they're not going to air the movie on their service. Netflix announced Monday that Huffman's film Other Hood, which was slated for an April 26 release, has now been postponed. The movie, which co-stars Patricia Arquette and Angela Bassett, does not currently have a new release date announced. Very interesting. Fortunately for Huffman, she already cashed those checks and got paid on this project already. This is a potential loss for Netflix, which could have had an even worse loss if they released the movie and got more backlash for it. Now they have to shelve it and they can't make any money off of it. And between this movie being shelved and Lori Laughman getting dropped from Fuller House, which is another Netflix project, well, this scandal is really rocking Netflix, the world's top online streaming service. Can't say I feel bad for them either, as they've had a pretty controversial and liberal past. I am in full acceptance of my guilt, and with deep regret and shame over what I've done. I accept full responsibility for my actions and will accept the consequences that stem from those actions. Huffman said in a statement Monday. She continued, I am ashamed of the pain I have caused my daughter, my family, my friends, my colleagues, and the educational community. I want to apologize to them and especially, I want to apologize to the students who work hard every day to get into college and to their parents who make tremendous sacrifices to support their children and do so honestly. Well, this is actually promising. Not a bad apology if I say so myself. It doesn't make up for what Huffman did fully, but at least she's trying to make amends. I haven't seen anything like this coming from the Olivia Jade and Lori Laughlin camp. In fact, they appear to be trying to sweep this all under the rug or something, trying to pretend this didn't 
didn't happen. And I even heard Laughlin was being pretty snobby and not very apologetic in court. And also, I heard Lori was even signing autographs outside of the courthouse. That doesn't seem very appropriate to me. No, really, Lori Laughlin and Olivia Jade, they should be apologizing like this too, especially if they want to get their reputations back or at least look like decent human beings who feel bad for the bullshit they've done. Especially Olivia Jade. She is a YouTuber after all, and she was so embarrassed she had to take down some of those videos, like I mentioned before. And Jade actually did a quasi-apology way back then when those videos first came out, because people were calling her out for saying she didn't want to go to class then. And now it's just even worse, but Jade has still been pretty mum since the college admission scandal broke. In the end, it looks like the scandal is only getting started in some ways. We may be halfway through the aftermath by now, but there's still more stories to come as other parents face their fates in the justice system. As we went over before, Lori Loughman and her husband could face two years in jail minimum. And that's pretty huge since these Hollywood liberals, they usually get off with just a fine or something minor, a slap on the wrist. We'll see how this story finally turns out and we'll see if their daughter, Olivia Jade, ever makes a comeback on YouTube. What do you guys think? Should Olivia Jade have been dropped from all her sponsors over this? Will her parents end up going to jail? And what do you think about Netflix shelving projects and firing actors over all this drama? Comment your thoughts on everything below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.